and welcome to the very first episode of Rap Geekery with Amy. I'm Amy and I rap babies. Um, so in today's episode we're going to be talking about the water finishes. Um, and the water finishes are basically where you have a carry with a chest pass, like this double hammock, and then two passes that come over your shoulder. One goes under the chest pass, one goes over the chest pass, and then we can twist them in a variety of ways to make up different water finishes. Um, so that's what we're talking about today. Because we're just talking about finishes and we're not talking about the mechanics of a carry and how it actually supports your baby, um, you might notice that I have no baby on my back today. It's just a faux, faux wrap, I guess, because we're just talking about what's going on on our chest. Um, so yeah not carrying anybody today. Anyway, let's get started going over the water finishes. As you can see, I have tied on a double hammock because it has a nice chest pass. There are other carries that have chest passes too. Um, you can basically do whatever you want. What's really important is that you have a chest pass, one goes under, one goes over. Um, I've also flipped one of my passes to show the wrong side so that while we're working, you can see the difference between the two um, shoulder passes and how they twist over each other and stuff. So I actually have a twist in my back, which I would not recommend, but with some carries, um, you might be able to twist the pass when it's like coming around a cross pass or something like that. So um, just a heads up that I've done this just to, for demonstration purposes. Okay, so let's get started. There are three basic water finishes that we're gonna go over that don't have a ring. Um, they are fresh water, half salt water, and a salt water finish. So I'm gonna stand up and adjust my camera so you can kind of focus on just the passes here so you can see what we're doing. So um, with a fresh water finish, this one is pretty simple. Basically, you just take the pass that goes under the chest pass, this white one here, and we're just gonna cross it over the pass that went over the chest pass, this one here. And you can see this is the this is the black one and this is the white one. So yeah, it's gonna cross over like this. And then the two passes are gonna come behind me and we're gonna tie under baby's bum. So this is a fresh water finish. Pretty simple. I think it looks nice. Um, this is my favorite because I think that it's just nice and elegant. <laughs> Um, so that's a fresh water finish, nice and simple. And then for a half salt water, basically it's really similar, but opposite. Instead of the white pass going over the black pass, this time the black pass is gonna go over the white pass, and we are gonna do an extra little twist here. And then take our, this one isn't, no, oh, there we go. We're showing more of the right side than the wrong side with this one. I don't want it to be confusing. There we go. Do a twist. So you can see the white pass is over here and the black pass is over here. And then once again, we just tie under baby's bum. So there's just a little bit of extra twist going on for a half salt water finish. And then, here it gets complicated. For a full salt water finish, we're gonna take our tail Stick it through here. Spread these bad boys out. Make sure it's not twisted. Make sure our chest pass is still tight. And these two are just gonna, this black pass, this black pass is just going under this white pass. Um, and then they go over the chest pass, like so. And then once again, this white pass is gonna go under the black pass, or oh, over the black pass, I can't talk, and go back to tie under bum. So this one looks a little bit more complicated. You've got the white pass going over the black pass before it slips through the chest pass, and then the white pass goes over the black pass again out here. Um, before we tie under bum. And this is a salt water finish. So it looks pretty cool, huh? I really like the salt water finish too. Um, it's just a little bit harder to execute with this extra twist kind of going on up here. So, sit back down. So those are the water finishes with a double hammock. Um, 
they look nice and simple and I really like them. Um, I just learned about the half salt water finish um, this week. So that was really exciting for me because I love to geek out over all this wrap stuff and figure out new things that I can do with my wraps. So right now I'm changing it up and I'm going to do some sweetheart passes. Um, and we can do sweet water finishes, which is basically just what we did before with the double hammock, except um, we're doing them over sweetheart passes instead of over a plain double hammock chest pass. So it adds just another layer of coolness. Um, so if I can figure out how to get these sweetheart passes on me, um, you can do sweetheart passes in a back wrap cross carry. That's probably the simplest way to do it. Um, you can also do them in a Charlie's cross carry. You can technically do sweetheart passes in a reinfor rear reinforced rebozo rucksack. It's the RRRR or pirate carry. But um, those shoulder passes aren't going to be able to go um, underneath the chest pass because they are ruck passes. It's kind of hard to explain right now. But anyway, you can do this in a back wrap cross carry or a Charlie's cross carry. Um, once again, I am flipping one of these chest passes over to the wrong side of the wrap so that you can see the difference between the more black side of the wrap and the more white side of the wrap um, so we don't get confused. So this black pass will come up over my shoulder. Isn't this a pretty wrap pattern? I really like it. And this white pass will now come up. Over my other shoulder. Okay. I think we've got ourselves situated now. Um, so remember, one of the passes needs to go under the chest pass in order for it to be a water finish. So I'm going to take this one and very carefully stick it through here. This is one of the complicated things when doing the water passes, because with a double hammock, it's really easy to get this, um, this shoulder pass um, underneath your chest pass because you're basically doing it as you tie, but with the water finishes, um, you kind of have to wait until your chest pass is already in place before you put the, the um, shoulder pass through. So it, it's a, a little bit more complex, these sweet water finishes. So I just want to make sure that the wrong side of my wrap is showing on the whole pass so that we can follow along easily and that my chest pass isn't going to fall down. Okay, now let's do the water finishes with Sweetheart Passes. So I'll stand up again and move my camera around so you guys can clearly see. So here we have the, um, the right side of the wrap showing and here we have the wrong side of the wrap showing and the same with our chest passes. Here we have the wrong side of the wrap showing and here we have the right side of the wrap showing. a little bit. Make it a little bit more pretty. Okay, I like it. Okay, so once again, we have one pass that's going underneath our chest pass here, and we have one pass that's going over our chest pass here. So when we do a sweet freshwater finish, then we just take the pass that's going underneath the chest pass and cross it over the pass that went over the chest pass and then we tie him back to support baby under bum. So there we go, a sweet fresh water finish in our Clio Chicago wrap that I'm constantly adjusting because I'm a perfectionist and I like things or symmetrical. But yeah. There we go. Pretty simple there. 
And then we can do the same half saltwater finish by taking this tail and crossing it over the white one and doing a little extra twist and bringing the passes back behind us. Just gives it a little bit of extra complexity. That's kind of nice. I really like how the sweetheart passes look with this too. And then finally, we can do our salt water finish. So we're gonna take this tail, tuck it under this one. And I really like the way this looks. I think that it's really fun. Um, so no twisting required here. Just this pass goes under the um, other one. And then they both come down over the sweetheart passes. Make sure that these aren't falling down. And then once again, we've got our pass that goes under the chest pass. It's just gonna come up over the one that went over the chest pass. There's a lot of over under in this tutorial. It's kind of confusing. Um, and then we tie behind us again to get that knot out of the way. So it also looks really cool if you spread it out over your shoulders and give it a little gap right there. Yes. Lovely, huh? I really like this one too. I like all of them, obviously. And then the one thing that I did not show you is doing this with a ring. So you can do these fun water finishes um, with just knots and they're super fun. Or if you don't have a lot of tails, you can do what really looks more like a shepherd's finish by using a ring. And I just happen to have a medium sized ring here. Um, I'm still kind of new to using a ring, so hopefully I can do this right. But basically, you take the ring and thread it through one of these passes, and then take your ring and put it, it's really hard to see, take your ring and put it under this pass. So you can see a little bit of the ring on either side of the passes, it's really hard to see. And this one goes over and back through the ring. If we can get all this fabric through. And then you're gonna wanna take this pass that went over and tighten it up through the whole thing so it's really secure in the ring. And then there you can see you've got a ring finish. Um, so this would be, um, I guess technically, a freshwater finish with a ring or you could call it a shepherd's finish too. Um, but it's really helpful if your tails end like somewhere around here um, to use a ring finish. And you could use a ring finish on any of the water finishes um, to help out with tying short tails and that way you don't need to tie behind you either. So, those are all the water finishes with a double hammock um, plain sort of chest pass, although I don't think it's plain, I think, especially with a little really pretty wrap like this one, um, a double hammock chest pass looks really nice because you can show off the pattern of the wrap. Um, and then so we did it with a, a plain double hammock chest pass and we did it with these fun um, sweetheart passes as well with different twists and turns to make up the freshwater, half salt water, and salt water finish with or without a ring. So um, my baby is starting to cry, so I gotta go. But thank you so much for watching the first episode of Rap Geekery with Amy. And I hope that you come back every week for more. Thanks guys, bye.